You know what? Ludwig, as annoying as he can be, and I do find him very frustrating at times, uh, he can be very hilarious. And I'll give you a little clip here to go off so you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Mr. Beast take a look at this. Over the past few weeks has got to be some of the most insufferable content I think I've ever seen. And don't take my word for it. Take his audience's word for it. Ludwig or... And he's totally right about that fact. The audience uh, was not happy uh, and... Look, man, I wasn't happy. It's not like I'm fucking looking back on that stream. I'm like, damn, kill that one. Uh, it was bad. <laughs> no, yeah. This is fake. I just showed you the likes, dislikes. I don't know where this is from. Uh, he was... Uh, his, so his live stream was awful, by the way, uh, in, in terms of the audience absolutely, including myself, who I actually showed up for one of his live streams, which I rarely ever do. We were pissed off. We were really pissed off with Ludwig because he kept dodging a fucking question all of the time. We kept saying, what about the Mr. Beast allegation? What about the Mr. Beast allegation? And he even watched the video and I thought, oh, great. He's finally going to get it. And then he just starts talking about other random stuff, random crap, like just stuff that barely applies to Mr. Beast. And I, just, I was just like, I'm over this. I'm fucking done with this. Unsubscribing from Ludwig. But now I see him popping up on my recommended every now and then. And I think, okay, has he really changed this time? Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and listen to a little bit more. I don't want to make this too long, but here we go. But his point still stands. Uh, and, and JoJo continues to go on to basically say that, you know, I spent most of the video focusing on, like, a few points that were maybe weaker in the Dogpack 404 video rather than the broader points that were True. bad, like the illegal lottery or, like, forging his signature on different hoodies. Very now, true. instead of actually addressing the serious allegations to do with promoting gambling for children and illegal lotteries, Ludwig spends commentary towards how Dogpack 404 knew Mr. Beast had staged his seven days out at sea and how Dogpack could verify that Mr. Beast was on a yacht or not, which completely just... Now, just to push back a little bit here, uh, I did mm. have a conversation with Dogpack404, the creator... It's always push back. It's never he can agree to anything or collaborate or, you know, it's always dishonestness with, with Ludwig and the big YouTubers. Hassan as well, that piece of shit as well. It's just, they're just all in on it, man. They're all in it for money and they're all in it for fame and attention and they don't care what it takes. And they all, they've got all each other's backs. And I'm just tired of it. No one's got a backbone these days. There's not a YouTuber stand up saying that's really fucked up. And I'm not going to go to any more of these Mr. Beast com competitions. I'm done with it until he improves. And then I'll go to his competitions. No one's keeping Mr. Beast Jimmy accountable. No one. They're all just like weak little annoying. But they're big though. But they're, they're weak big YouTubers that are just like just weak. I don't even know how else to explain it other than they just don't have a backbone in terms of like, hey, that's fucked up. You should probably say something. You probably should do something. They just don't want to. They want to dodge it all the time, including Mr. Beast himself, actually. You know, they just hide behind the little clips and videos. But at least Ludwig does go live. Mr. Beast only goes live when he wants to scam you out to money, you know? The video. He turns out to actually be a Ludwig viewer. If you look at his most recent video, there's even a point in it where you can see, like in the sub box, my, my little face is there doing the, the smile thing, and I am live at that moment. Uh, and so, anyway, I called him on stream, but I called him on stream at about the 16 minute mark of the video, which is before any of the illegal lottery. No, you only called him on stream because he messaged you first. You didn't message him first and say, hey, let's have a talk about it. It was the other way around, you know, because you were not motivated to talk about it only because that the comment section were pressing you to talk to him because he was in a, your comment section, your live stream. So when I called him, I asked about what happened in the first 60 minutes of the video, which the video is a slow burn and starts off with a lot of stories about things being fake on the channel uh, and whatnot, which surprised me. Right, and this is the exact clip that I talked about. On the fourth day of seven days stranded at sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people. And to be fair, Ludwig was actually pissed off, and that's the clip I took of him, and made it. And you guys were bitching at me like crazy, saying re-uploading shit. Dude, the clip was fucking crazy. Everyone should have seen it, you know, if they didn't want to spend two hours in the live stream. It was a good, good clip to, to, for people to see, and it was even demonetized as well. But he was in shock. He was like, wait a minute, if they're not going to be in their sleeping cots or their beds during that video, then why the heck was I sleeping in a dodgy plane for all those hours when I could have just been sleeping in a, in a vacationed hotel and just been Ubered in for the video later on? You know, like, that's what his point was about.
People are awake and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked, he didn't spend- He wasn't spending the whole night and that's the problem with Mr. Beast is that he is a fucking liar, man. Pathological, somewhat unlogical liar. And it's awful. It's really bad. So if he's lying about little things like this, he's probably lying about a shit ton more as well. And that's why I don't trust Mr. Beast anymore. That's why I unsubscribe from him. And that's why I don't really want much to do with him other than getting him off YouTube or getting someone better on YouTube to replace him. Because I'm really sick and tired of watching his shitty fucking stage fake videos. I am sick of them. You know what I mean? Amazon Prime Show is coming out too. That's going to be fucking rigged. You know, so they're all going to be staged and scripted and all bullshit. What the fuck is the point? You know what I'm saying? The reason you watch that show or watch that uh, video is because you want to see someone win that's legit, yeah? They've gone through some hardships. They've outplayed someone. They've outsmarted someone, you know? And it's real cash. It's real money. It's real prizes. And it's real winners. And it's not rigged. Imagine the Olympics was rigged. How many people would just not watch it at all? They'd say, fuck the Olympics. They're all a bunch of steroid-pushing motherfuckers, and then the outcome is staged because the person slowed down to let that person win. That'd be bullshit. No one would fucking watch it. It'd be, it'd be awful. You know, it'd be embarrassing. It'd be as bad as when we found out that wrestling was fake, when we all believed it as a kid, and we're like, yeah, our favorite wrestler is so badass, but not really, because when we, we learn that it's all staged and fake, and it's all a bunch of scripted lines. Same shit, you know? It's like Santa Claus. You wake up one day and realise your Santa Claus is fake too and you're not going to get no presents, you know, because the presents are fucking from the parents and the fucking Santa Claus isn't even real. You know, it's all staged, it's all fake and it just takes all the magic out of it or it takes all the fun out of it and you just, you just don't even bother anymore. It's like, what the fuck is the point? You know? There you go. Spend the night soaked, Jimmy. You slept on the production yacht. It's ironic because this is one of the... And so, I was just surprised by this. Like, I'm watching this live and reacting to it. I'm like, damn, I'm shocked Jimmy would do something that dumb, right? Like, for a guy who walks around saying, I don't fake videos, for him to, to uh, leave during the middle of the night, go onto a production yacht is crazy. Because uh, I've done Mr. Beast videos, and, and the ones I do, he doesn't let me fake them, right? I, I had to spend 31 hours on yeah. a plane crash that, that, that happened. I yeah, and, and Ludwig was genuinely pissed off, like anybody would be. It's understandable. Get to sleep on a and fuck this stupid commercial. I've got monetizement off, so should he, but he doesn't because he needs the money. Plain wing. Uh, and Damn so up. I was curious if this was either dog pack extrapolating from the screenshot of them not being on the screen that they obviously must not be on the raft. Where are they? Well, Jimmy's rich. They probably bought a yacht. Or if he had some insider intel. That's Joke right now. If you can read whatever's on his hat, the Japanese symbols, I'll give you $10,000. Just kidding. I won't. But I'll just say that, just so it makes this video seem more entertaining and more, you know, iconic. That's basically what happened. And this is where the initial allegations of controlled opposition started. Uh, and so for, con for context, this is me having a call with Dawson, the dog pack. Is you, did you work on that video or are you going off the video? Dude, you are controlled opposition. What does that mean? And so controlled opposition, what that means is that... When you are part of a conspiracy or you're part of a corrupt scheme and that person that is being accused of the problems and all the criminal activity, if you are attached to that person, then that person that's been accused and everything, the criminal guy, yeah, or girl, then they will tell you, look, do not say anything to anybody, otherwise you will never be in one of my videos ever again. Or I would never give you money. Or there's going to be like some control in involved. Which means that from then on forward, that person wouldn't say shit about what's going on. He would dodge everything. He would hide from everything. He would just, you know, he's, he's a controlled puppet in a way. And Mr. Beast has got Ludwig in his pocket. And then the person that's in charge of Mr. Beast, the guy that's funding him all the money for his big, big videos... He controls Mr. Beast as well. So Mr. Beast is in his or her pocket. Probably a huge investment firm, most likely. It means you're trying to give me to reveal confidential information and break my NDA. I don't know what your NDA is. I'm trying to ask questions about the freaking thing. Oh, you know what an NDA is. I do. Yeah, but I don't know what your NDA covers. Okay, what should I not ask you? About any videos that I worked on. And so Dawson just said not to ask him about any videos he didn't work on. 
Uh, but, you know, to be clear, I asked him when he worked at Mr. Beast Incorporated first. Um, I signed the first NDA February 22nd. Okay, and this just gets boring. So, the, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed up until now the video. If you did, smash the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It takes a second, it's free to do so, and it helps me grow. So we can get this more to more people. All right, see you later. Bye-bye-bye. See ya.